what is up YouTube, that's it here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys some actual capture card content. It's been a hot minute since I've done stuff like this, and I think this is probably how I'm going to start to relaunch my In It To Winget series. What we're going to be looking at here is we're going to be looking at a few replays that I have for you guys in the VGC 2018 format. Our first one's going to be going up against P Flugmeister. This is a person who's the member of the EPL, the Endeavor Pokemon League, that I actually just hit on battle spot with this meme theme that I'm going to be using, but uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about how we're setting this up. So I actually have no capture card, like my hands are free. What we're using here is we're looking at a video, so like I can pause this and talk about things if I want, and since this is a replay, I can like pause it and talk about all the little analytical differences and like why I chose to make the moves that I make, so I think this is really cool. This is brought to you by a mod in my channel, his name's Jelly Sound, I'm sure some of you guys have seen him talk in my chat on videos or you know uh you know just talk in the headset because sometimes he accompanies me when i do stuff like that so big shout outs to jelly sound he i had to send him these replay codes he would then uh download the replay code and record the replay and send me back the file so i could record them like this but it's it's all great everything's good hopefully you guys like this sort of content like i i even put a question of the day thing here it says do you guys like these type of replay review vids so this is how i used to do my content back when i first launched my channel i probably did this type of content for six years before i switched into doing live battles so if you guys still like the live battles we're still gonna be doing pokemon showdown lives and you know i might try and work in some battle spot lives somehow i really don't know how i would at this moment but you know, at least we have capture card quality content back. So what we're going to be doing here in this first relaunch of In It To Winget here is we're going to be going against P Flugmeister. This is going to be a QR team that I'm going to be using here. It's going to be using Iwamise, Mega Blastoise, Pelipper, Tapu Fini, and the other Pokemon. We're fighting them Z Sarina and Dragonium Z uh, Nognadel. The items on the other Pokemon are going to be the Eject button on the Iwamise. Uh, the Blastoise side of the Mega Blastoise, I think it's running Stash on Pelipper, and it's running a Specs Tapu Fini. So, this is like a crazy meme team made around Mega Blastoise to make sure Mega Blastoise just fires off huge water spouts for 150 base damage in the rain. Maybe we get some Helping Hand boost in there as well, and it really shows off not only Mega Blastoise, but Iwamise. Iwamise is a really cool Pokemon, and we're we'll going to be talking about that in future videos, but Iwamise is very comparable to Whimsicott, except for Iwamise, I think, is a lot bulkier, and it's only a bug type. I mean, it's in the fairy A group, but it's not a fairy. I was actually very surprised. I actually just thought it was a fairy, like, the whole time, but, uh, yeah, it's only a bug type, and it's actually quite bulky, so it's going to realistically be able to use this eject button. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to be mostly talking about how good Mega Blastoise is today. I know some of you guys see my uh, profile picture on, like, social media, on, like, Twitter, on YouTube. It has, like, a picture of me going like this at regionals, and there's, like, a Blastoise behind me. And most people think that I'm, like, playing, praying to Blastoise. Like, I really love Blastoise. When in reality, Blastoise is probably my least favorite of the base three starter evolutions. Like, I really like Venusaur. I really like Charizard. Blastoise is kind of meh. But I do respect Blastoise. So we're going to be using some Blastoise teams for a while. I have this sort of team to show you guys. I'm going to be bringing you guys some Pokemon Showdown live teams with Blastoise and stuff like that in the upcoming weeks. So hopefully you guys enjoy all that. We're going to get into the game. I know you guys haven't been able to hear the in-game audio because it's a video. But I do have the in-game audio because it's the video. There we go. Haha. -ha. In-game audio. It's almost like the capture card never even left, right? It's almost like that. So we're going into the first game against P Flug. I don't know if you're trying to record this for his YouTube, but like our team is so, so, so good against his. So we got you may say Blastoise. Remember, Blastoise is just so, so, so good. It's so thick, it's so bulky, and it also gets access to, like, Fake Out. If I wanted it, I mean, Fake Out's not really good against Lele. This QR team doesn't have Fake Out, but most people have to remember that Blastoise does get access to that move. So if I really wanted to, I could have Fake Out of the Landris instead of a Tailwind. I'm going to opt to go with the Mega Evolve and a Mega Blastoise. Remember, we get our Mega Launcher upon evolving. It's going to make our moves that are Pulse moves, like Water Pulse, Dark Pulse, I think even Aura Sphere fits in that category. I think a 1.5, so it's technically like Blastoise stabs those moves. So imagine Blastoise stabbing Dark Pulse or doing like a, a much uh, stronger water, water Pulse. Sorry. Anyways, yeah, we're just going to go for the Protect and Tailwind. Very, very safe. We're going to see him miss a Rock Slide on, on our Iwamise. It's completely fine. Uh, we would have been able to eat the Rock Slide and just sort of activate our Eject button. We're just going to activate our Eject button from the Psychic. And note that that Tapu Lele Psychic... 
in the terrain did not KO our Iwamisa. You know that would have killed any Whimsicott, but Iwamisa is pretty thick. It's going to let us switch in Pelipper for free. So now not only do we have Mega Blastoise in a Tailwind in the rain, like we are ready to go to Water Spout Town. For those of you who don't know what Water Spout is, Water Spout is a 150 base uh water attack it's an aoe move it hits all my opponent's pokemon and it's it starts off at 150 base but it gets weaker the lower your hp bar is and uh since we're at full hp it's gonna be doing that big 150 spread damage uh it, it's, it's it's a pretty good move you just have to be at full hp to use it note that we u-turned with our pelipper just because i wanted to be able to bring in beanie uh i could have went for like you know I think I could have went for a Hurricane, but I think this Pelipper's only other attack. I think its attacks are U-Turn, Tailwind, Hurricane, and Hydro Pump. And that's the same type of stuff I would use. I would use Protect over the U-Turn, but uh, I would just switch that turn if I didn't. Uh, I, I just wanted to go with the move that could hit. Feeny can come in here. Feeny can, like, m more easily hit all its moves compared to Pelipper. Pelipper can miss a couple moves. Like, Pelipper can miss a Hydro Pump. Muddy Water has a little bit more accuracy. If I wanted to go for Moonblast, I go for Moonblast. So we're going to see the Aegis Slash here. Go for the correct play in wide guarding my Water Spout. And we're just going to read him and go with Ice Beam from our Mega Blastoise. So Mega Blastoise beatdown is in effect. We get the one hit KO on the Lando. And Feeny just went for Muddy Water. Remember, this is a Specs Feeny. I'm locked into Muddy Water. But I think we're in a really good spot. And another reason why I switched in the Feeny there was because I knew that the Mega Metagross would be coming eventually. It was definitely in the team preview. I wanted to take away the Psychic terrain and at this point like mega metagross has like almost no ko potential on mega blastoise like i still have my tailwind up first of all and even if you go for like a huge zen headbutt mega blastoise is one of like the thickest bulkiest megas that there is so we're gonna see metagross go for protect he wants to wait out our tailwind and we see him try and go for a king shield uh king shield works after wide guard the same way like multiple protects works though so, unfortunately he's not gonna get that king shield up and he is gonna go down to the single target water pulse Beanie Muddy Waters into the Metagross Protect, but at this point, like, our Tailwind wears out, it really doesn't even matter. Metagross is going to get to go for one attack, actually, now that it has speed control, now that our Tailwind's gone. It's going to go for a Zen Head, but on Tapu Fini, but Tapu Fini's pretty thick, too, and another Water Spout is going to be enough to finish off this Metagross. Pretty good stuff, like, Mega Blastoise, like, who, who, who thinks, who makes teams around, like, Mega Blastoise. Like, I don't know. Mega Blastoise is literally one of, like, the best Pokemon. So, I just want to talk about this game a little bit more. So, yeah, I just wanted to build teams around Mega Blastoise, and I found this QR code. I'll probably be leaving a link to it in the description. Uh, do me a favor, check that out. You guys should probably use it. It's a pretty cool team. I don't really use the Sarina and the Nagata all much, but, like, being able to Tailwind and Mega Blastoise, and then if you wanted to Rain Dance with Yulamiste or Helping Hand with Yulamiste, like, it's really, really good stuff. It has weather control, it has speed control, and it has the damage from Mega Blastoise. So, pretty good game one. We are going to be going into a game two because, uh, like my Intertwinget series works, you know, you usually play two games. Because you got you, you to give the viewers bang for their bucks. So, remember, since it's this halfway point, I'm going to ask you again. What do you guys think of this replay review type of video? I'm probably going to get a lot more comfortable with it and not talk as fast as the videos go on, but let me know if you guys actually want to see this sort of content because I'm going extremely out of my way to set up all of this uh, capture card quality stuff without actually having a capture card that works with my laptop. So let me know if this is worth it for you guys. Do you guys like watching this type of stuff? And we're going to hop into game two. Here we go. Alright, so we're going up into game two. We won the first game of the day, going up against E Flugmeister. This game, we're going to be going Iwamise, Tapu Fini, and uh, we're going to go Pelipper and Blastoise in the back. So, in this game, like, I looked at his team, I don't remember what his other two mons are, but I realized he was going to have to go really, really aggressive. I think he also had a Mega Metagross potential in his team, so that's why I decided to lead Fini. I wanted to take away the Lele terrain, set up our speed control, and just come with Blastoise. And if you look at his team, uh, he's incredibly aggressive, but he also has. Mega Blastoise. So we got a little bit of a Mega Blastoise mirror match. I think Mega Blastoise is just a really cool Mega, and it's gonna get more popular as the format goes on. There's usually one point in each season that Mega Blastoise is legal. If you look at like 2014, you look at 2015, that this Pokemon like rises up just a little bit and is almost like tier one. It's like almost tier two. It's like a niche Pokemon because it's just really good. It can do almost anything that's not affected by Intimidate, and it has access to Fake Out. Like that doesn't say what a good Pokemon is. Like, I don't know what it is. So, we're going to hop into this one, and I'm going to show you guys how to use Mega Blastoise in the back, going up against another Mega Blastoise. So, hopping right into this one. I'm so happy that we actually have the in-game audio. Like, uh, it makes it so much better than having to, like, 
put music and like edit the audio levels and stuff like that. It's it's so much nicer for me. Like I hope I hope you guys enjoy. It. I hope you guys enjoy it. So we see Zerkatry and Lele starting things off against Ilumise and Fini. Now remember, Tapu Lele's psychic terrain would block of like my encores and other prankster moves that my Ilumise could use against my opponent Pokemon. But it's not going to block me from setting up Tailwind, it's not going to block me from doing anything else, and we have a Misty Terrain anyways. So, Misty Terrain takes away some of the power that Tapu Lele has at his disposal. We're going to, again, pop that turn one Tailwind. We don't even want to deal with, uh, you know, going second. And since we see Zerkatry go for Lele, I'm kind of surprised that Zerkatry is going for Lele. That means one of two things. That means it could be a Scarf Zerkatry, or it could be like a really, really bulky Lele. Either way... Zerkatry is denied the beast boost, and we see the Lele have a life orb, which means, hmm, it's probably not bulky. Maybe that's a scarf Zerkatry. We're gonna find out. We have Blastoise. It is now, it is now time to go because we have our speed control. We're gonna see our opponent switch into Blastoise, and uh, we're gonna hit even harder because we're gonna go, we're gonna go Mega here. We're gonna gain our Mega Launcher, which doesn't really help us when we're going for Water Spout, but I'm pretty sure I'm going for a priority Rain Dance with Iwamisa this turn, and like. That is the good stuff. So yeah, you may say pop and rain dance, and we're not going to see Zerkatry go for protect. That's because I'm pretty sure that it is a scarf Zerkatry, and that's one of the reasons. Like you watch this replay, like looking back on it, like I probably didn't write down on my notebook when I was taking these when I was playing this game for the first time that it was probably scarf Zerkatry, but that is most definitely a scarf Zerkatry. It's not holding Sash. It's not holding anything. It was faster than a Life Orb Lele. That doesn't say scarf Zerkatry. I don't know what does. So his Blastoise took eight. Ton, 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 ton of damage uh, from that water spout. And uh, Hawuch comes in, but Hawuch cannot activate its Misty Seeds to get unburdened. Sorry, can't activate Psychic Seeds to get unburdened because there's Misty Terrain. So that is why we led with Beanie to take away some of that potential. We're going to see our opponent go Mega Blastoise as well. And he probably thinks he can live this because Blastoise gets a little bit bulkier when he Mega Evolves. But we're going to be powering up with a helping hand on Blastoise from Ilumise. Coming in with a huge water spout. Like... Huge, huge, huge water spout, double KO, picking up the big damage here. is going to go down, my opponent's Blastoise is going to go down, and it's Tapu Lele versus the world at this point. Like, Iwumise is such a good partner for Blastoise. Like, if I was using Whimsicott, it might almost be predictable, I guess. That's probably why I think Iwumise is so good. So we're going to see whether we come back in, activate the Psychic Terrain, and that's just the hard forfeit. Like, that's just the hard forfeit, and that's how the cookie crumbles. Like, we take those... Mega Blastoise, amazing Pokemon. Even in the mirror, all you gotta do is have some speed control, and you too will be able to sweep your opponents. So, if you guys like this team, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. If you want to use this team, there will be a link to the QR code in the description as well, so you guys can check it out for yourselves. Let me know what you guys think about this video, about this type of content. Hopefully you guys like it, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.